What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a cool day. I'm Biscuit Dog and we're back in Mountain Blade Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. At the moment we're in a spot of bother. We're about to get kicked out of Freeze. Well, we've been banished from Freeze pretty much. We've been messing with the Jarls. Things have not gone well. You guys know the score. But we've been given a boat by some sympathizers, basically, and a chance to leave Freeze as soon as possible. We had to wait till dawn, so that's why I'm hanging out here next to the boat. Uh, but there's a town in Denmark called Ribe. You can actually see it at the top right of the screen right now. That's where we're headed. Okay, so there's a guy in Ribe who used to live in Desinger, just over here, um, who's now like the, the port master or something, and he may know the whereabouts of Sven Bullneck, so that's where we're headed now to go and find out if we can find the whereabouts of Sven Bullneck, where he's hiding out. So that's what we're going to try and do. We've been kindly given this boat by the people of Desinger, and it's time to go. Let's do it. Do it for me. Yes, do it for me. Good. The sea breeze caresses your face. You hear the seagulls over your head, and the smell of salt is getting stronger. In the distance, you distinguish the silhouette of a boat on a hidden beach. It is the ship that Thonkrick told you about. Your ship. <laughs> Sounds like there may be a battle here. I don't know. Oh yeah, this seems this seems real dodgy. Why? <laughs> this is a setup. Where's my crew? <laughs> what is going on? This is not good. Where's my boat? Where is my boat? There's my boat. Bring it to me. Where's my horse? Where are my people? This is very strange. I feel like I'm being set up here, you guys. Who is this? Who is this and what do they want with me? Uh, these people don't seem very warlike right now, anyway. Hello. Brunhild. Hey, oops, sorry, didn't mean to kick you there. Do not come close to me, I'm tired of being abused by every person that crosses my path. Dude, I'm cool. <laughs> We're cool, lady. Jeez. What is that thing in front of your face? Calm down, your father Thongrick has sent me to find you. Oh, Brunhilde, that's who you are. I... I'm sorry, but please understand, my life has been a living hell since I became a maid in the house of the Jarl of Kenemir. I bet. Hmm, I bet that's an ugly thing to be doing. I used to live in a small village to say, I know, your father sent me to get you. What don't you understand about this? I used to live in a small village to sing her. I was happy. My father Thongrick cared a lot for me since my mother died. But, one day, the Jarl of Kenemir stopped in our village, and he saw me. He, damn him, forced my father to send me to his house as a maid for his wife. He promised that he would respect me, but he lied. I don't like to speak of this. Well, since I had already become a slave, I had to give myself to him and then to his men. That is not good. These Jarls are not good. Wow. So I desperately wanted to escape, if only I could start a new free life. I know, you could take me with you. I could... I could help mend the wounds of your warriors. I could even learn to be a warrior myself, if that's what it takes to be free again. Will you take me with you, sir? I told you already I was taking you with me, Brunhild. You can chill. Fries has not treated me well either, especially the Jarl of Kenemir. I'm leaving this land and you're coming with me. I wear my bow in a, in a new style now. <laughs> Straight across my face, so as to give me an infinitesimal chance of protection from... projectile weaponry. <laughs> Yes, yes, the style of Biscuit Dog the Fowl. Mm. Train setting. From here to Denmark. I am? Will you really help me escape and protect me? While I'm in no position to be picky, I would be pleased to join you in exchange for my freedom. Good. I think you would find that I would be most valuable addition to your ranks. I am well versed in the old traditions of the land and can declaim several of the epic poems of my people. <laughs> okay. I will also use everything my grandma taught me to keep my new companions healthy. Thanks, so we've kind of got a medic out of this, I guess. Your father wants you as far away as possible from the Jarl, and I understand why you are welcome. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Good times, lady. Glad to be of service. Who's this lot? What do you guys want? Hello, shipwright. Ah, you are Biscuit Dog the Fowl. Thunker told me you would come here. Get on the ship, my men and I will show you how easily she sails. Grand. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. Where the hell is my party, by the way? Ah. Beautiful. Uh, having a little trouble there, bro? Yeah, this could be a problem. 
please wait for every everybody to board the okay are you on that was freaking weird dude. <laughs> In this tutorial, you will learn how to control a ship. Oh my god, will we sail the ship by ourselves? Take your time to learn how to command your crew, so you will be able to keep a cool head in fast developing naval battles. Press K to continue. I can do that. In a naval battle, it often helps to get an overview. Click backspace to get an overview. Okay, you can look around by moving the mouse or getting your perspective back on your ship by clicking backspace again. Click K if you want to continue. I do. If you want to make your ship move, and you can give the crew a command to row, if you want to make your ship move, you can give the crew the command to row. The more crew you have, the more speed you will gain through rowing. You can give commands to row forward, to row fast forward, to stay, or to row backwards. Click the up or the down arrow key to switch between these commands. Your current command is represented by the arrows above and below the representation of your ship in the upper right-hand corner of your display. Try to give different rowing commands. Okay? Click K if you want to continue. If you want to direct your ship, you can give a command to the helmsman. You can give commands to row straight, starboard, hard starboard, port, or hard port. Click the left or the right arrow key to switch between these commands. Your current command is represented by the arrows on the right and left of the presentation of your ship in the upper right corner of your display. Try to give different helmsman commands. Okay, that, that display is not <laughs> in the upper right hand corner, but hey, it seems to be working. If there is a favorable wind, you can give the command to set the sail. But if you are in a headwind, you should give the command to reef the sail. Click enter to toggle between these commands. Your current command is represented by the sail of the representation of your ship in the upper right corner of your display. Your current position to the wind is represented by the blue flag. Try to give the command to set your reef to set or reef the sail. Well, ah, look, there's the sail going up and down in the picture. How quaint. Good. Okay. Now you know the basic commands, you need to control a ship. If you want to board an enemy ship in a naval battle, just try to catch it, and your crew will do the rest. Okay, for now, take your time to try out your ship. When you are done, land your ship at the beach where you started. Alrighty. Are we going to... Maybe we should reef the sails. Hmm. You know the basic commands, you need to control a ship if you want to board an enemy ship. What's happening? Oh my god. What? That's pretty weird. I I clearly pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is this is not that easy, but I mean it's a boat. It's not that easy. Keep turning, buddy. Turn harder. It's turn harder. Eve. Yes. Yes, row it for me. All right, we gotta land it right back there. Let's do this. Easy, tiger, easy. Reef that, I mean, trim that sail. <laughs> Raise the sail. Uh, a little more this way. There we go, there we go. I'm doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it, I'm a ship's captain, you guys. Yeah. You have obtained your first ship. A ship doesn't simply make it feasible for you to cross the sea. It makes you rich if you engage in trade across the sea. It makes you a feared man if you make quick raids and settlements on the coast. It makes you a ruler if you conquer foreign lands. The Norsemen say it will even bring you to the afterlife. However, traveling on a ship is also dangerous. The sea is like an open grave beneath the hull, awaiting you and your men. The storms of winter will harm your ships, but calm weather isn't much better because it forces your men to row. To avoid overtaxing the crew, it is customary to stop traveling at night and to rest on land. A ship is also a valuable possession. The owner should always keep an eye on it. Come back to this place as soon as you want to sail. Well, I want to sail, man. It's time to sail. Let's sail. Let's get the hell out of here. What do we want to stay and freeze for? We don't. Okay, ribe. Let's go. Ah, oh, okay. So we only we only control the ship if we're being battled against or trying to battle somebody. I see what's going on here. Maybe we should. Whoa. Beta Chronicle. The news coming from the north was disturbing. Ragnar's sons were calling men to advance on Mercia. It was still a great army, nonetheless. Reinforcements from Denmark were expected. God protect us. Some merchants report that Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Ragnar's son in Denmark is bringing warriors on hundreds of boats. I overheard some of the king's advisors in Wittensister 
In written cases saying that the Danish want to destroy all the kingdoms of England. The only good news I heard was when a messenger informed us that some Danish sent by Jarl Sigurd to attack Fries were defeated in Dissinga. That was the first time I heard the name of Biscuit Dog the Fowl, who had led the defense of Dissinga. Little did I know then that he was going to be an important figure in my life. Mysterious. Safety first, I think. Good. To Ribe. Yeah, Denmark. Denmark, here we come. It's the port of Ribe, ladies and gentlemen, and we've reached at noon. Uh, that's very red. Hopefully we don't get arrested as soon as we make landfall here. Let's have a look. Alright, we're not to mention Thonkrik to this guy who runs the port either, because he hates Thonkrik. So there's that. Can we not... Let's Ribe. Can we not Ribe? Are we not welcome? How do we land our ship? Landing point. Good. Let's go to landing point. Landing point, buddy. Alright, Biscuit dug the Fowl's ships. Which is only one of them, but anyway. Alright, hopefully this thing doesn't get stolen, and let's go speak to the let's go speak to the portmaster of Ribe. See what he has to say for himself. What is going on here? Who are all you? Kuninger? Kuninger Horik Gottfriedsen. Oh, it's a different it's a different Kuninger Horik. Almost tricked me there. Alright, let's see what's going on in Ribe. The town of Ribe seems to be flourishing. The market is humming with activity as traders from far and wide come to do business and leave. While some migrants stay and seek their luck, you are greeted by men loyal to Kuninger Horik Gottfriedsen of the Kingdom of Denmark. Pagans are in the majority here. All right, let's go have a little look. Uh, stroll through town. Mead hall, training grounds, trade with locals, travel to another port, wait here for some time, see the ships. Let's stroll through town. All right. Where is this port master you speak of? Ah, oh, this is a way big town. Way different to Desengo. Pretty cool. All right, there should be somebody in charge down here. That's a big-ass ship, man. Wow, I wonder if we can get one of those for us at some point. That's going to cost a pretty penny. Who are you? Who are you? Good horsey. Old Sea Captain. Hello, fellows. Greetings, I'm a veteran captain who monitors activity at the Port of Ribe. If you are interested in hiring unemployed sailors, let me know. Uh, no. I would like to go, thank you. Physician, I don't need you either. Good day, sirs. Lame pony or bus, baby. Alright, let's start with this guy in the end here. There's somebody fishing. This is a pretty cool town. Pretty cool. Slave trader. Ugh, I want nothing to do with you. Wait, do we have any prisoners? Let's have a look. You're looking for a slave trader? Right, I wouldn't prosper without my slaves. So if you have any prisoners of war, I'd be willing to I'd be willing to buy them. I've brought some prisoners. Nice to hear. Let's go. Prisoners to level robber 2. You sell. Sell 80 penangas and done. And you, sir. Good day. Hello, townswoman. Portmaster? Haha, <laughs> just the man I was looking for. Welcome, landlubber. How do you know I'm a landlubber? I just got here on a ship from Fries. Smartass. I'm the shipwright here. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I want. Where is the hideout of Sven Bullneck? Hmm, I have some questions about ships and sea travel. I want you to travel to another port. I want you to build me a ship. Nothing for now. You know what I want. 
He approaches you until you can smell the cheap beer on his breath. Why so loud, friend? Nobody in port needs to know what we are talking about. I see someone has told you about me. That's fine. It's how businesses thrive. Well, you want to know the location. It is not hard to get. But it has a cost. Of course. And not a cheap one. Bullneck Sven is a dangerous man. I'm well aware of that, sir. Thank you. He looks with a he looks with a perverse look. <laughs> Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Fortunately, I need someone like you. I need you to become mm, a raider of sorts and go to Area Land. I have a client who wants to. I have a client who wants a book kept in a monastery there as a relic. The monastery is called Glendalough. The name of the book is the Cathach of Colum Seal. I am really only interested in the book. Anything else you take is yours. Bring me that book, and you will know where Sven Bullneck is hiding. Okay, so we've got to raid a monastery and steal a book. It seems pretty straightforward. Sounds good. I'll bring you the book. I will see you soon. I neither plunder monasteries nor kill monks to forget about that book and offer Peningas for the information. Let's try that. I prefer to forget about that book and offer Peningas for the information. Well, isn't that an interesting option? My client offers me 10,000 Peningas for the book. Do you have that kind of money? Unfortunately, not that kind of money. I'll bring the book. I will see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be here. I suggest you repair and provision your ship. The trip the trip to Ariu land is long, and bring enough men for the Ariu war enough on each other to have become quite good at it. Far too well. Well, thank you. Too kind. Who are you? Norse Freeholder. You looking for a job, punk? Bugger off, stranger. Can't you see I'm busy watching that plump wench over there? I'm sorry. It is a noble pursuit, Norseman. All right. Oh my god, the plot thickens still more. All right, so there's no simply finding out where Sven Bullnick is, apparently. It looks like we're going to have to go uh, and uh, set a monastery on fire and kill some monks and steal a book so that we can... Because <laughs> we don't have the 10 grand to pay this guy for the information. It might be an option if we had 10 grand, but it seems like a, a waste of 10 grand, to be honest. That's what it seems like. All right, let's see what these guys have got for sale before we leave here. Uh, stroll through town, meet hall, visit the training grounds, trade with locals. Trade with a weaponsmith, what do you have? Ooh, this guy's got some real cool stuff. Two hand long axe. Ooh, swing 30, what have we got? One handed, we only want one handed. One handed for me. One handed short battle axe. Is that what we got? No, that's not what we got. Heavy long axe. Mm, they got some pretty cool weapons around here. Dare I say it? There's a trident! Good grief! Oh, it's a pitchfork. <laughs> a simple farming weapon. Below my caliber. Mm, what does the armor have for us? Requires ring 46 to head armor. What are we looking at? 44. Alright. 44, 25, 31, 12. That's pretty damn good. We only have 2,000 peningas, though. Wow, we got a lot of food, though, don't we? How much is that worth? Yes, give it to him. Wine. Yeah, the wine prices are looking great around here. Let's sell some of this wine. <laughs> yes. 200... 2,906 Peningas. That's great. But he only has 2,747 Peningas. Let's... Uh, I can't afford... Uh, 2,7, alright. Just pay whatever you can. Mm, no. Let us think of something else. Let us think of something else, my friend. I'll take that back. 2791. That's fine. I'll give you a discount. Alright, just pay whatever you can. Good. Armor, horse merchant. What have you got? Hmm. Alright, we've almost got 5,000 Peningas now, but we're going to keep that. Because you never know when we might need it. We can sell this to him, though. Surely. Take that. Take it for me. Ale. Fish. Bread. Honey. Eh. Apples. The shield? 29. It's a steal. Take it. Wheat, 28. No, that's no good. Sausage. What is this? Dried meat. No, we're using that at the moment. All right, fine. Good. Good. All right, you guys. Well, the plot thickens. We're kind of finding out where Sven, where Sven Bullneck's hiding out, sort of. Um, so what we're going to need to do is go find that monastery. We're going to have to sail to that monastery, find it, probably kill all the monks, hopefully not, steal the book and whatever else we can find there. 
Come back here, give the guy the book, and he should tell us where Sven is hiding. That's the plan in any case. I think I'm gonna leave it here for today, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!